Hi guys, Robbie 46 here, welcome yourselves back to MotoGP17. Let's continue with managerial career mode. We're of course going to be starting at the back. We're going to be racing at Jerez. And uh, it was wet qualifying. Let's see if it's going to be a wet race. Looks like we're on slicks. Let's go have a look at the tyres. No, we're in wets, okay. So, we're in wet tyres. So it's going to be another wet race, so we don't get to choose our tyres, so we just got wet tyres, and that is it. Is it going to be a wet track, or is it actually going to be raining? It looks just like a wet track, so this could be quite interesting, because it's going to dry up. We'll have to see how the tyres wear. So here we go. Hareth on our Ducati. Pretty good start. So get ready to go into the first corner. The inside of a few. And we're up to 12th place. And make that 11th. We've got, well, got Petrucci now trying to get Ian Oni as well. So 9th place, 8th place. We'll pass Vignales. Vignales down quite a bit. I know that last season in Moto GP, both him and Rossi crashed out of this race. But with it being wet, we'll have to wait and see what happens to them. So Vignales struggling at the moment. We're right behind Carol Crutchley. And that's Pedroza just ahead of him. Hopefully we can do a good job on the Ducat as we try and get Crutchley and Pedroza as well. Yeah, and maybe Rossi on the exit. Yes, okay, so we made up three places in one corner. We're on the wrong side of Lorenzo. It's fourth place at the moment. We're going wide though. Someone's going to come back underneath. Rossi's back past, Pedroza's back past. Can we hang out on the inside of Pedroza? Yes, we can. Back up the fifth. Around here. And we've got the two quick right handers. We've got a better exit than Rossi there. Let's try and get underneath him. Uh, no, not quite. Maybe on the exit. It's spinning up the rear a little bit. We're alongside him and we're past. Is he going to shove up the inside there as we go a little bit wide? No, he doesn't. Okay, fourth place. Oh, Lorenzo went on the curb. That didn't help. So we're up to third now. Marquez is in the lead with Dovi in second place. Ducati's feeling pretty good in the wet. But like I said, the track will dry out. And that will mean that the tyres will start to wear out pretty quick as well. But so far the tyres are looking fine. Just try not to spin up so much. We've got plenty of time. Seven laps around Jerez. And we're only on lap number two. We're already in third. And we may be having Dovi by the end of this straight. We've got him now even. So second place. Now we've got to try and catch Marquez. Ian Oni's crashed a bit further back. Gone a bit wide. But we can cut that back. And we're almost with Marquez already. You can just about see the track. The dry line is just starting to appear. Still damp though. It would be so good if uh, they brought in the flag-to-flag -flag races. So that on things like this, like maybe two more laps and then we could go in and put slicks on. But unfortunately, we just got to stick with wet tyres. Try and catch Marquez. Of course, our first three races on the Ducati were, they weren't the best. I mean, we got third at Qatar. We got a DNF at Argentina as we try and get Marquez. We're on the wrong side of him, though. But we did win at the last race. As we try and get underneath Marquez, not quite working. Dry line appearing on the wrong side of him. The inside here, that's not going to work. Okay, so around the long right hander. Let's get a good run out of there and see if we can get past him on the straight. He uses slipstream. And we're going to get past. There we go, into the lead on the brakes. 
No, gone in a bit too hard. He's come back underneath. So back down to second, back up to first. Mark has put up a little bit of a fight. But we're back in the lead. Will he try and re-overtake? We've gone a bit wide there. Yes, he's come back through. Can we hang it round the outside? Yes, we can. Okay, so he didn't manage to make that stick. So back into the lead. Ty is starting to wear now. We've both pulled away from Davizioso in third place. He's still right behind. Is he going to attack into Lorenzo Corner? Yes, he is up the inside. Is he going a bit wide? Yes, he has. We can cut back underneath him and back into the lead. So, lap number four. Into the first corner. He's not close enough to attack. See if we can pull away from him. Yeah, that dry line really appearing now. Track drying out all the time. Through the long right hander. We're definitely pulling away from Marquez now. He's given his best. But it's not good enough to beat us. But the tyres may come into it. It's three quarters of a second back to Marquez. My rear tyre is starting to uh, deteriorate. Iannone's crashed again. A bit wide again. But we can cut that back. So the rear is starting to spin up a little bit now. Front's feeling fine, but that rear, it's uh, it's starting to go a little bit. So we've got three laps left to go after this one. So that rear tyre may be completely knackered by the end, so we may be spinning up all over the place. Hopefully we won't, but we have to wait and see. Zarco's crash in eighth place as well. Start of lap number five. 1.3 back to Marquez. Gone very wide there, they. Let's try and keep our tie together. I think it's. Ooh, uh, uh, we're all over the place now. That won't help our tyre out. It's about half used. So it's still got half the tyre left. I think it'll make it to the end. I think it'll be alright. Unless it just all of a sudden starts to go really rapidly. Marquez is probably about 1.5. No, 1.2 still. It looks like, is Dovi catching Marquez? If he is, it's only very slowly. But it looks like that gap has come down a little bit. As we try and keep our rear tyre intact. 1.2 still, so we're not actually pulling away from Marquez anymore. So we're going to have to keep an eye on that, make sure he's not actually starting to reel us back in. Tyres are still feeling alright. Spinning up a little bit, but nothing too bad. Okay, so the gap, 1.6. has gone up by 0.4 of a second in the last sector, so that's good. This is, of course, the penultimate lap, number 6. Yeah, our tyre is going to be absolutely fine. Our rear is not going to destroy itself. Just got this lap to do and the final lap and we will be good. The gap's over two seconds as well, so Marquez is not going to catch us. I want to keep an eye on the map to see if Dovi is actually closing on Marquez. I think if he is, like I said, I think it's only going to be a fraction 
at a time. It's not coming down a huge amount. It's kind of hard to tell without seeing the actual split. I don't know, actually, I think that gap is pretty much the same back to Dovey. So just negotiate these last few corners. And then we've got one more lap to go. Wonder how our teammates getting on. Because in the last race, he really surprised me by actually getting in the points. He got 14th place. Spent ages trying to find him. I went straight to the bottom of the page and he it wasn't about. Thought he disappeared off the face of the earth, but turns out he finished in the points. So it's final lap time. Two and a half seconds over Marquez. We're just on the fastest lap as well. The rear's starting to spin up a bit more now. But we're going to be alright. It hasn't completely let go. And we've got a pretty decent buffer over Marquez as well. In fact, the gap's gone up even more. 2.8. But yeah, the rear definitely spinning up a lot more now. But nothing we can't handle. We come to the end of this Grand Prix. Ducati seems to have worked well here in the wet. Would it have been different if it was dry? I don't know. I'm not so sure. I don't mind Hareth. But yeah, the Ducati's felt fine around it. In the previous races, it uh, didn't feel that great. But we're getting there with it. So just the final corner to go. And that's us done for this race. And it's going to be another win for us. Reddin's crashed in 11th place as we pull a wheelie. And we're done. So Marquez tried putting up a fight for a little bit but we just managed to get away and pull away to almost four seconds. Dovi, he was in third. Our teammate, where is he? 14th again. That's good. That's another two points for him. So he should be on four points now. We have moved up to third place in the championship as well. And we are pretty close. So our teammate, where is he? Yeah, he's moved into 17th. He's got six points. So that's good. Let's hope he can continue getting in the points and getting some decent results. Because obviously the better results he gets, the more credits we get. And then we can continue upgrading the bikes. Of course, our Moto3 bike hasn't got too much more upgrading to do, but we're getting there with it. And our guys, 2nd and 12th. Oh, Freddie Allen crashed. He's still got his objective. They were 12th place. I bet uh, Johan Mir won. And then Nathan Peters got 34th again. He's obsessed with 34th. Dominguez crashed but got 12th. So he's still got some points. Obviously, we got 1st. And our teammate in GP got 14th. So, not too bad. It's all going in the right direction. Okay. So we can go on to the next race and get that one started. Okay, so let's just go in the garage a minute, do some R and D on our Ducati. Um yeah, we'll do suspension because of the handling. And then we can go for the next Grand Prix, which is Le Mans. Okay. Obviously starting from the back again. Wet track. 
So just like Harath, it will start drying up. We can't choose our tyres. It's just wet tyres. Here we go. A wet Le Mans. How are we going to get on in this? I'm not so sure. We will be able to repeat what we've done at Harath. Let's hope so. But I would like a bit more of a fight, which would be good, as we got the inside of a load of them. Um, just about got through up to sixth place. So we already, already made up well, low, most of the field. Right behind Jorge Lorenzo. Shove up the inside here, can we? Yes, we can. So up to fifth place. We're going wide. Those are going to come back underneath. Yes, he is. No, he's not. Held him off just about. So fifth place at the moment. Obviously at the weekend, Lorenzo was sporting a brand new aero fairing for the Ducati, which, if I'm honest, was ugly as fuck. It is good that they're trying different things though to kind of replicate the winglets in MotoGP. But damn, the thing's looking ugly. Dovi coming back up the inside of us. Just saw Marquez go off track there as we get up the inside of Dovi again and almost right on the back of Marquez. Right, can we get him into the final corner? We're on the wrong side of him. We're going to go around the outside. That's probably not going to work. No, it's not. Gave it a go, but it didn't quite work. But slight better drive, so into third place we go. Is he going to come back past? Yeah, he's trying to go around us. But doesn't quite manage it. So, third place. Now we've got to catch Rossi, which we've almost done already. And then Vinales. Two Yamahas out front. So we're, I think, nine points behind Rossi in the title at the moment. So if we get first and Rossi gets third, then that will be a nine point difference. Or we'll make up that nine point difference even. We should be joint leading. So try and get underneath Rossi there. He left the door open and we went through. So up to second place. Now we've got to hunt down his teammate Maverick Vinales. And of course doing seven laps of this one as well. And we will start getting quicker as the track dries out. Closing in on the brakes. Ooh, almost straight to the back of him. Carol Abraham has crashed. We'll just follow Vinales for a little bit. See what he's got. And see where we can get him. Substream him a little bit. Maybe ever get past. Yeah, oh, I'll break myself. Oh, that was close. Went over the curb as well, which is a bit bumpy. I had to sit the thing up. But we stayed on. We've lost loads of time on Vinales and gone back into the clutches of Rossi. But we're still in second. So that was a big mistake from me there. Just trying to get past Vinales a bit too late on the brakes, and we ran out way too wide. Almost cost us the race because we could have ended up crashing going over that curb. So we've got it all to do again. 0.7 of a second is it up to Vinales. Dry line appearing. Pulling away from Rossi again. On the brakes as we go into the flip flop. Can't quite get a good exit out there. I mean, the AI seem to use more than the actual track itself. They go way over the, the uh, curb sometimes. But we're almost back with Vinales. And then we can see if we can re-attack him and retake the lead. Trying to get a good run out the final corner. Not close enough just yet to get past him 
but we don't want to make the same mistake we made last time. So on the brakes. And then closing in on the brakes again and into the chicane. And we're almost right on the back of him again. Down the hill, spinning the rear up. And we're right with him again. Shall we try and shove, shove up the inside into the next corner? I think we're a bit too far back. We are. Oh, thought about it. Should we get a better run out of here, can we? Spinning up a little bit on the exit. We may be able to do a carbon copy move that we've done on Rossi. If Vinales goes a bit wide, he's going wide. He's left the door open again and we're through. Exact same move that we put on Rossi a few laps ago. And we're back into the lead. Let's see if we can pull away from Vinales. Oh, the rear stepping out a bit. We're good in this final sector. So I can't see Vinales getting back past. Through the final corner. Not the best of lines through there. But we're pulling away from Vinales. On lap number five of seven. I thought I'd outbreak myself a bit too much again. Through the chicane. Vinales has closed up a little bit there. Let's see if we can get away from him a bit more. The rear seems to be stepping out a lot more here than what it did at Hareth. Spinning up a bit more as well. Oh, spinning up again. We haven't pulled away from Vinales a hell of a lot. It's 0.7. Nice and tight. And pull away down the little straight. Through the flip flop again. Ooh, over the curb that slowed us down. Point six six six. The devil's number. Vinales is just behind us. Final corner again, and then we start the penultimate lap, lap number six. Having a bit of an issue getting on that curb there. But it looks like we've pulled away from Vinales again, it's almost a second. Uh, oh, way too hot on the brakes again, in the gravel. That has completely cocked us up this time. So. Oh, Rossi's come through as well, so we're back down to third and we've only got this lap and one more to go. Fucked up again, I'll break myself again. This time, wasn't even trying to get past anyone. Just trying to take a bit too much speed through there. Up the inside of Rossi. Oh, the rear stepped out. Couldn't get it stopped and we went wide. Rossi's back through. We may have thrown this race away. Hector Barber has crashed. Let's hope we don't follow suit. Up the inside of Rossi here. He's left the door open again and we're through again. We would have thought he would have learnt from the move we pulled in the first few laps. Now we've got it all to do to try and reel in Vinales with about one and a quarter laps left. It's going to take some doing. 1.1 seconds we've got to try and make up. We'll make up a bit on the brakes here. We've gone in a bit too hot again. But that gap has come down quite a bit already. It's got to be about 0.8 of a second. Maybe less than that now. See what our exit's like out of here. Not that great. Let's see what it is over the line. Half a second. Right, let's not outbreak ourselves again. That's better. Hard on the brakes. 
caught up a little bit. Come on. Rear stepping out and spinning up all over the place. Close in on Vinales. That's better the rear stayed in line that time. It's like Rossi's been caught slightly as well, but he's still got a bit of a buffer over whoever's in fourth. Oh, are we going to get him here? No. He missed the, the exit apex, eh? We may run out of time here. Eh? But I think I know where I'm going to get him. The right hander after this couple of corners. Get him on the brakes. Can we get him? Maybe a bit too far back. We are a bit too far back. Or are we? Can we get up the inside? Snuck up the inside. Will he try and re-attack us? Into the final corner. No, he's not going to get us. So we're just going to take the win. A Le Mans. Made a couple of mistakes at the same corner. But we still managed to take the win. Vinales second, Rossi third, so we should technically be joint first in the championship. Oh, our teammate got 13th place. So again, in the points. Nice one. Yeah, we are joint first with Rossi. Both on 91 points. Obviously, we've won more races, so we go to the top. Chikati moved to the top of the Constructors title as well. So that is good. It's all going well. Uh, Moto 3 team third and second. So that means Mir probably won again. Nathan Peters 34th just for a change. Dominguez. Oh, he got a win. Dominguez won in Moto 2. Nice one. Obviously, we won in Moto GP. And George Morgan got 13th. So, all of us getting our objectives apart from Nathan Peters, who hasn't got any other result other than 34th. So, not looking good for him at the moment. I need to see some improvement. Otherwise, he's going to be another one that goes straight out the door. Not standing for crappy riders. Not making any progress. Alright, let's upgrade the Honda. We're getting there. We'll do the frame. And then that's the frame completely done. And then do our Calyx as well. Do suspension for this one. Cool. It's all looking fine. Okay. Next race is going to be Magello. So we just sort these activities out. Hopefully we'll have a dry race as well. So that's two wet track races we've had on the bounce. We've won them both. I mean, we almost threw Le Mans away twice, but managed to stay on the bike. So let's go to Magello. Okay, as always, starting right at the back. Let's see what we can do. It's dry, which is nice. Dry on the Ducati at Magello, and we are away. Making up places already to 17th place can we get a few on the brakes possibly not oh been boxed in very much boxed in and we're back down to 18th place we've got the inside of Rabat yep yeah, we'll have that the inside of Bautista almost got Barbara but not quite so up to 16th place can't get him on the brakes. Gone a bit wide. May lose that 16th place. We have to Bautista. Back down to 17th. What's going on here? Last couple of races we're in the top 10 by like the third corner. No such luck here as we get Bautista and Redden. No we don't. Redden's on the correct side. He's gone wide though. But he holds it. Bautista's back through. So we're still in 17th place. 
Get a better exit than both of them up to 15th. That's one point for us. So, if it finishes as it is, I don't know where Rossi is. But he's going to regain the championship lead. Gone a bit wide. Only six laps of Mugello for this race. Obviously a bit longer than Le Mans and Jerez. That wasn't that great through the chicane. So at the end of the first lap we're going to be in 15th place. Maybe 14th if we can get Miller. Yes, we can get Miller. So he's 14th place by the end of the first lap. We're usually a lot higher than that. Let's try and slipstream Hector Barbara. The worrying thing is, is that I haven't seen our teammate. So he's not going to be very high up either. If we go into 13th place. No. Oh, he's hit us in the rear. That sent us wide. Back down to 14th place. I'll tell you what. I know that Milestone upped the AI on some tracks. I'm assuming Magello's one of them. Because they seem to be a lot quicker than usual as we get up to 11th place. But the AI seem to be a hell of a lot quicker. I mean, I am on medium tyres. So we can't go as quick as what we could obviously on soft tyres. But soft tyres won't last a distance. We get Folger. Can we get around the outside of Lorenzo? I think we can. Even Vinales is struggling. He's in 8th place, just behind Iannone. Lorenzo's trying to come up the inside. And does so. So back down to 10th. Folger, no. No, Folger's coming through. So back down to 11th. Okay, we've got a fight on our hands for this one, guys. We're actually going to have to try. All the while, the leaders are pulling away. And we're struggling a little bit down in 10th place. Maybe the medium tyres aren't quite working as well as I was hoping. Got Vinales though, so we're up to 8th place. Ian Oney's up next. Try and slipstream him, try and get him into the final corner, but we're going to go too hard. No, we got him. Okay, so 7th place. Wow, what a strange race so far. Rossi's in the lead as well, so if it finishes with Rossi in the lead, or if it finishes with us behind Rossi, then uh, he's going to regain the championship. We've gone a bit wide, very wide in fact. Oh my god, and three of them tried coming through, but we've got all three of them back. It's still in seventh. Pedroza is in sixth place, and we've got Zarco. Uh, then I think Crutchlow. Baz has crashed at the back. Tell you what, I'm struggling to keep my speed up uh, in this race. I think Molson have definitely upped the AI for this race. I couldn't really tell in qualifying because I didn't do qualifying. So, interesting. Be nice if they'd done this at every single track. Oh, we've got better drive than Pedroza. Get him on the brakes. Up to sixth place. Oh, he's going to go around the outside of us. So we went on the kerb. The leaders, they're pulling away. What can we hope to get? We may struggle to get on the podium at all. So we get Pedroza finally. Up to sixth place. Now we've got to try and catch up to Zarko and Crutchlow. Or is it Crutchlow? I don't think it is Crutchlow. I think we went cr past Crutchlow edges. It's Marquez. So Marquez is in fourth place. So who the fuck's up the front? Obviously Rossi. Must be Dovi. But who else? I don't know. It's not Lorenzo. So we went past him. It's definitely not Crutchlow. So we've gone past him. I don't know who the fuck it is. Oh, Marquez has gone wide. We got him, have we? No, he's going to probably get us. Yes, he is. We need to try and get back. Oh, oh, oh. Get 
getting all aggressive. So Zarco is up next. So Marquez is in sixth place. The leaders, they've just completely pulled the pin. We're on lap four or six as well. Can we get Zarco and then can we reel third place in? I have my doubts. Rossi's pulling away from second and third. So Rossi's having a good time. I've got a funny feeling it might be Petrucci who's in the second or third. Dovi and Petrucci. I don't remember seeing Petrucci when we came through the park. I know we saw Red in. Can we get Zarko? And then it will tell us who's in third. We're on the wrong side. Maybe show it the inside as he goes a bit wide. Yep, yeah, okay. So we're in fourth. That is a huge gap to try and breach. Rossi fastest lap again. Dovi is in third. Yeah, I've got a... I'm pretty sure that's Petrucci in second. See if we can reel him in a little bit. We've only got this lap and one more lap to go. So we're definitely not going to win this race. Medium tyres are keeping together. To keep an eye on the split, see if we do actually start reeling in Dovi. Two and a half seconds. We'll keep an eye on that, but as if it does come down, it's not going to be coming down by much. Don't know what we would have been able to do if we had gone for soft tyres, but they would have definitely been completely worn out by now so we had to go with the mediums any harder and we would have ended up going even slower okay so that gap's not looking good it's not looking good at all Alright, so just one more lap to go. The gap's two and a half seconds still. So, we're not going to catch anyone. We're going to finish in fourth place unless one of the front three crash. But I don't think that's going to happen. I think we're going to be stuck with fourth place. 2.2, it's come down by three tenths, but it's not going to be enough. At least we're pulling away from the guys behind, which is good. I think we're starting to close in a bit more, so it was 2.3, it's 2.2, it's only come down a tenth. I mean, we can forget. We're gonna have to forget about the podium. Lozers crashed as well on the final lap. Not going well for Lowe's at the moment. So it's gonna be fourth place, and we're gonna lose the championship lead again. So as quick as we got it in the last race, we're gonna lose it pretty much straight away because Rossi is going to win. And I'm still convinced it's Petrucci in second. And obviously Dovi in third. So just go around this last corner. Then we're done. So that was a difficult race. The AI definitely been upped speed wise for this race. Fourth place. I dread to think what our teammate got, because if we were struggling... Yeah, it was Petrucci in second. So Petrucci takes second place, Dovi in third. Our teammate... 
19th. Yeah, well, I can't blame him because the bike didn't feel that great. We are 12 points behind Rossi now. So back down to second place with 12 points ahead of Vinales. But yeah, 12 points behind now. Oh, if he finishes first and then the second in the next race and we win it, he'll still be leading. So still got work to do in this championship. It's not going to all go our way this season, which is good because I like a challenge. So we had to work for that fourth place. We definitely had to work for that one. And unfortunately for us, it didn't quite work out. But fourth place, we're going to have to take that. At least we didn't crash and get DNF. Mia Fisher got second. Freddie Allen got third at Spet. Mir won again. Nathan Peters 34th. Surprise, surprise. Dominguez second place. We got fourth. And George Morgan 19th. So three of us got our objectives. The other three did not. But anyway, guys, that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel for more content. And I shall see you guys in the next video. See you.